Hello and welcome to the third video in the series of Anderton. In the last video we managed to set up and install everything. And in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a simple screen. We're going to keep it simple and just create a screen with a white background in it. We're just going to start by creating an Android application project fast. I'm going to name it Anderton Tutorials. Then just create a blank activity and leave the activity name to main activity. The first thing we want to do is that we want to link the end engine library to our project. We're going to do that by going to our project, end engine tutorials. And then we're going to right click and we're going to go to properties. Then we're going to go to the Android tab and scroll down to libraries. Then select add and choose end engine. If you don't do this, your project will not run later, it will return an error. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove every code in the mainactivity.java. We're going to make it extend from simple base game activity. This means that it will inherit some of another object's code or methods, as you will see soon. Scroll over to main activity and then choose add unimpented methods. And you will get a bunch of new methods called engine options, uncreate resources, and uncreate scene. We're just going to start by creating two variables. We're going to, we're going to type pri private static final int camera width and set it to 480. We're going to, and we're going to create private static final int camera height and set it to 640. This is going to be the how wide and how high our camera will be. On the screen. We are now going to create a camera object fast. A camera object is something that can display a part of the screen. So we are just going to type final camera and then name our new camera just camera with a small c. And then new camera type in the parameters oo camera underscore width and then camera underscore height. This will set the boundaries of the camera to position x0 and y0 on the screen all the way to 418 and 614 in height. Now we're going to return some options. We're going to decide if we want to keep the ratio of the project and if we want, if we want the screen to be portrait or landscape mode. So type in return new engine options and then inside the parameters type in true and then dot screen orientation dot landscape underscore sensor sorry I meant coma after true and another coma after landscape sensor and type in new ratio resolution policy camera underscore width coma camera underscore height and then this is going to be to our camera basically what ratio resolution policy will do is that if we have a bigger screen device or a device with higher pixel density it is going to keep the same ratio of our files and images on the screen for example if you have a screen that is twice as big the image that is will also be twice as big now there's just some little little more to do we're going to go down to the method on create scene and we're going to register an update handler which is going to make our basically going to make our application run Go ahead and type this dot mengine dot register update handler and then new FPS logger. Then we're going to create a so called scene. A scene is something you can attach to images and sprites and huts to, for example. For now, we're just going to make a scene and then we're going to and then we're just going to make it white, the entire scene white. So go ahead and create a scene by typing in final scene with a capital capital S and then type the name of your scene for example I choose M scene then make it equal to a new scene now in order to change the background of our scene you just have to type the name of your background and then add a dot afterwards and type in set background in the parentheses type in new background and then create more three more parentheses inside of there if you don't do this you can just hover over background and it will tell you how many parameters you need to add and also what type of object it will be for example if it will be int, if it will be a camera or something like that 
it will all become clear later. So in order to make it white, we are going to make the red, green and blue colors identical. For example, 1.of, 1.of, 1.of for float. Don't forget to import background. Now the last part we're going to do is we're going to make it return and scene or whatever you named your scene. And you should be good to go. Because I can't emulate an engine on my computer because it is not that good. I have downloaded a program called Droid at Screen. Basically it is a program that will show you how a program looks on my device. Or how the screen looks on my device. And this is how your application should look like. Pretty much just a white screen. But we're going to change that in a later video where we're going to add an image or a so-called sprite. I'm going to show you how to place it in the center of the screen, how to import your own image and as well as put, how to put it in any coordinate you wish. That was all for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to the channel and maybe even spread the word to others that are interested in programming for Android. I'll see you in the next video hopefully. Bye bye.